But let's just take, let's take a step back for just a minute and let's deal with some reality. Three years ago, three years ago, there was a bunch of people in a room just like that, right here, like this, that were writing stories. And a lot of those stories look like there's this thing called tablets, and they're coming, and they're going to kill the laptop. It's going to change everything. That was supposed to happen, for sure. And a person like me sits back, and we start putting roadmaps together, and you start designing products, knowing that this wave is coming. And then everybody is going to be in a press conference three years later using their tablets. Just look around for one minute. It is super fascinating. Seriously, look around. I saw one. There might be two. For sure, there's plenty of MacBook Airs, and for good reason. <laughs> what happened? What happened? 96% of you who have iPads in your bag right now are also carrying laptops. I th I'd guess it's 100. We just can only prove to 96. There's a reason for that. Let's just talk about the reason. It's not bad, it's good. But there's a reason, just think it through with me. Tablets, from a product making standpoint, tablets, they're designed for you to sit back and watch movies. They're designed to read books. They're made for browsing the web, snacking on apps, those are interesting. Laptops are not designed that way at all. They're designed to help you get stuff done. They're designed because you actually need to do things. They're designed because when you're sitting where you are right now, you have to capture the thoughts I'm trying to say. They're designed for editing. They're designed for making. That is a point of view that's true. And sometimes they come out clunky. And sometimes they come out beautiful. But either way, there's a design point. And they're made for that reason. That's happening. But it gets even a little bit more tricky. We just did this. We did this. We made products. And you, you learned this thing that was called all day battery life. And it blew you away. And you're like, I could use this thing all day. And then when I push the button, it's still there. I mean, it's a, it's a, it does so much. But then that started to blur too. But was it the tablet? Was it the laptop? Which one was it that worked all day? And which one do I need to use every day? It's super interesting. But then that conflict started to push itself into people. People, isn't that what matters? Isn't that what we designed them for? Not for us, but everybody. And then they'd walk into a store, and it doesn't matter what store. Let me be super clear about that. It does not matter what store you walk into. The conflict exists. It exists. You walk into a store, and you walk up to the salesperson, and you can stand between two very clear tables and ask a question. What is it that I'm supposed to buy? And most do because not everybody knows everything about anything and everything about everything and people are learning at all times, which is wonderful. And when they walk in, they say, what am I supposed to buy? And what does a sales rep say? Almost every time, almost every time, what do they say? Does anyone know? I'm sure you've asked, you report on things like this. The response is so common, it's uncanny. It's so simple, yet so complex. The response is this, what is it that you want to do? I don't know, I'm about to spend $1,000. I thought I needed to do everything. And that's how you feel, but why? That happened because of the conflict that we're creating every day. And does that conflict need to exist? You've been told to buy a tablet, but you know you need a laptop, and that's happening. That's a real conflict. You walk into the store, that conflict is right in front of you. And sometimes you buy two things. Turns out, 96% of the time, you buy two things. Maybe not on that day, but you definitely come back when you didn't have what you needed, and why? So today we're gonna to focus on that, and only that, taking that conflict away. We have to remove it. People need that. But to do it, it's just not that simple, because it would have been done already, wouldn't it? 
To do it, you'd have to have everything in one package. You'd have to not compromise anything when it came to performance. It'd still have to be thin and light. This paradigm called battery life, using your product all day, always having it there for you, all that had to still be true. It had to be sexy, sleek, feel good, personal, all this stuff, all of it in one package. It all had to be there. Maybe it had to be a little bigger. Because man, these small screens, they look small. And there's a reason for that. They are. Today we take the conflict away, and I'm absolutely sure of that. I'd like to introduce you to Service Pro 3.